Hello and welcome to my tutorial series covering the Machine Micro Hardware and Machine 2 software. Um, before really getting into the hardware, I think it's first helpful to understand the machine software, the machine environment, and how everything actually works. I'll be honest, it took me a while to figure out how everything goes in the machine, um, but I think it's possible to figure it out and it's very helpful once you have a firm understanding of how machine actually works. The first thing that you should know is that everything revolves around something called sounds. So what exactly is a sound? Um, well, it's helpful to think of it on the hardware as just a pad. Um, on the software, you can see that there's these slots down here, 16 of them, in which you can load different things. Um, so sound can, first off, just be a single sample. On my first sound slot here, I just have a snare drum. <coughs> on the hardware, you can hear it by pressing the pad. On the software, you can hear it by making sure this speaker icon is highlighted, and then just clicking on the sound. <coughs> So, um, a sound can be a single sample, just like that snare drum, but it can also be much more than that. So, looking at the second slot, I have a piano loaded here. It may seem like it's just one note, but it's actually a whole bunch of different notes. To get to those, hold the shift button on the hardware and the keyboard um, function up here, and this will load up a chromatic keyboard. On the software, you can access that same thing by just holding down um, this keyboard button here you can see that the change is reflected on the hardware. So now you can play the pads as a chromatic keyboard. And you can also change octaves by holding the pad mode button and then the octave up or octave down buttons. So a sound can also be a collection of these samples that vary depending on pitch and or velocity. Um, exiting keyboard mode here, a sound can also be a VST plugin. So on my third sound slot, I have loaded Massive. So you can see that we have three different types of sounds here. A single sample, a collection of samples, and then a VST. So there's tons of different options, tons of flexibility, and it's very helpful when you're creating tracks to have that flexibility. So moving on to the next level, um, these are called groups. And basically, groups are just organizations of sounds. On the hardware, groups can be accessed by holding this group button and then using the pads to select different groups. On the software, the groups are located up here above the sounds, and then you can switch between them just by clicking on them. So, um, like I said, groups are just collections of related samples. So a drum kit with different kicks and snares that are related would be in the same group. You can also have a group for different instruments, like a synth pad and a synth lead. So that covers the different sonic content of machine, how to actually make noise. It's also helpful to understand how you can organize that noise. Machine isn't very linear, it's very loop based, and it makes it hard to understand at times, but it's also very powerful once you get the hang of it. Um, and machine loops are called patterns. Um, on the hardware, patterns are located just by hitting this pattern button. And on the software, patterns are found by clicking this arrow here, and you can see your different patterns. So patterns are linked to groups. You can't have every sound with its own pattern, but you can have a pattern for each group. And each group can have several different patterns, so you can create different um, developments um, with these loops. Um, and also, patterns are unique between groups. So group A has its own set of patterns, and group B has its own set of patterns, and on and on for all your different groups. When you're ready to start arranging those patterns, um, start going from just a loop to a more finished track, you can do that through scenes. On the hardware, there's the scene button here. On the software, scenes are located on this timeline up here. Um, you can add scenes by clicking this little arrow. You can right click, delete, or some other functions. Um, and then I'll show you how you can arrange patterns using scenes. So I think of scenes basically as sections of a track. So for instance, you might want to have an introductory scene with an introductory pattern. Um, so say my group A, I just want the first pattern here. Um, maybe group B I want to leave out until the intro, so I'll bring it in in a later section of the song. So I can add another pattern here, um, put the same group A pattern on there, but if I want to bring in group B, I can click and then select another pattern. So you can see this is how you start developing your track, building it from different loops to more linear track and something that's ready to render and finalize. So that covers some of the concepts of machine. Remember, everything centers around sounds. Sounds can be a single sample, a collection of samples, or VST. And those different sounds are organized into groups. And each group has its own bank of patterns, its own bank of loops, and those loops can be arranged using scenes. Um, it may seem like a lot, 
but once you start working with machine you'll get more familiar with it and you'll realize that it's actually pretty powerful. So with that in mind, we are ready to move on to the next video in which I'll be covering loading and browsing different sounds and groups.